Hey everybody, happy Monday. It's Coach Jessica. I was trying to wait just a little bit longer to do a live today. We still have one person that we need to get into the group, just waiting for um, that last person to get in here, but um, he can watch it later. Um, so wanted to, um, again, just say welcome to the group. I hope you watched the video yesterday. But today I wanted to talk about setting up a goal for the month you know, the name of our group is Overcoming um, Compulsive and Emotional Eating. And tomorrow I'm going to really dig into what those are and how I define them, as well as some of the other eating disorders. But before we move into that, um, I want you to know that my goal for the, week, for the group ultimately is for everybody to be free. And I said on last night's video that I would explain what food freedom is. And what real food freedom is, and what that means to me, and when I talk about that as a goal, is that food takes its proper place in your life. That it is no longer a controlling factor. You are neither controlled by emotions, you are not controlled by a desire to consume when you're not hungry, you're not controlled by a compulsion or something that makes you do the thing you said you weren't going to do because that's what compulsion is, right? I say I'm not going to do a thing and then I do that very thing. Um, you are not controlled by the people around you when it comes to food. You're not controlled by certain days on the calendar. So the goal with food freedom is for you to be able to eat and have food take its proper place in your life as a source of nourishment. And yes, it can be a source of um, enjoyment, as well, and it actually should be. But freedom means that um, it doesn't control you. It's not the center of your universe. And I think for those of us that struggle with food addiction, eating disorders, compulsive eating, and emotional eating, it really has become the center of your life. Everything's about food. So much, so much of your thoughts is involved in food. And even sometimes fighting food addiction can become a real issue because it is still the center of your universe. You're still thinking about food all the time, even if you're fighting it, even if it seems like a good thing, it's not. So real freedom looks like foods in the background. When I talk about my own freedom, I say it like this, and again, this is at over six years. Freedom comes in little bitty thin layers. It doesn't happen all at once. It's You don't get from where you are to where you're going to be um, quickly. In fact, it's not even a destination. It's a continued journey. But food freedom for me means I am free to eat anything, but because I understand what food does to me, what certain foods do to my body, what they do to my mind, what they do to my behavior, I don't want to eat foods that harm me any longer. So real freedom is understanding that I can eat anything, but not wanting to eat foods that harm me mentally, spiritually, or physically. That is my definition of freedom. And because I love this life, I love being this free with food, I just want to see everybody else get there too, to that. But... Um, so I want to talk about setting some goals. Um, again, one of the cool things about this group is we have people that have been sober for a year or more. We have people that have been, you know, clean with their food or not, um, not uh, eating foods that harm them for a couple of months. Uh, and then we have people that maybe right now you are deep in your food addiction. You are deep in emotional eating. You are deep in eating foods that harm you. So we're all in different places, and that's a cool thing because we can support each other. You see somebody who is where you used to be, and that's a really compelling thing. Um, but it's super, super important for each individual person to make a goal for the month. And when I'm talking about making a goal, I am not talking about a weight loss goal. It is okay if you have a weight loss goal. In fact, I'm going to talk about the scale and numbers and things like that on Saturday. That's going to be a big part of our call that we have um, because that is a subject that has come up in every group and sort of really came out uh, at the end of the last group. So I want to give some time to that. Uh, because some people should count, some people should never count. 
Some people need to take a break from it. Some people should weigh. Some people should not weigh. Um, and that's we need to talk about who should and who shouldn't do those things. Um, for some people, it triggers a disorder. For some people, it is a place of comfort where they actually create order in their life. So I'll talk more about that then. So when I talk about goal setting, I'm really, in the context of this group, want you to think about what your biggest issue is. What would change the most, or what would change your life the most in the next 30 days if you made that change? So I'll give you an example. For me, the thing that would change the most for me is committing to and sticking to getting up and going to bed at very specific times. The reason that makes such a big difference for me is not just because rest is so important, but it's because of what I accomplish in those early morning hours. And it changes how I feel about my day. It changes the trajectory of my day. So for me, that's a really big goal personally. Um, for you, I really want you to think about your eating and where you are with that. Um, if you are just starting out and you are on a standard American diet and you have been consuming foods that cause your body harm, um, and maybe you don't know what that is. Maybe you don't know what foods cause your body harm uh, or you don't really understand that. Um, there is a video about nutrition here in the group. There are also some graphics. There is a food list. There's recommended foods. Um, in the photos here in the group, let me know if you're at a place where you don't under, even understand or know which foods cause you harm, um, and I will um, direct you to those. I'll tag you in them if you're newer in the group. But if you're in a place that you're eating a standard American diet, you're still eating grains, you're still eating wheat, um, you're still eating seed oils, things that physically cause your body harm, or if you're still eating um, sugar, um, if you're still eating things that that when you eat a little bit of it, you lose control uh, and, and you can't even control the amount. And those things might not be harmful in terms of your physical body, but they are harmful to your emotions and they're harmful to your spirit because then you, of course, heap condemnation on yourself um, and all the other things that come with that kind of behavior. If, if you're in a place where you're struggling with those things, then make your goal for this month very, very simple, and that is start where you are. If you're eating foods that harm you, then your goal for this month, really, your first step to freedom needs to be, I'm only going to eat foods that nourish my body. And again, I can point you towards their food, those foods. If you are in a place where you only eat foods that nourish you and you're not eating foods that harm you, but you are eating in response to emotions, then your goal needs to be wrapped up in only eating foods, only eating when you need food for nourishment. And I can walk you through sort of writing that plan um, or writing that goal out in a way that's workable. If you um, are struggling with a specific thing, you know, uh, again, we'll get into this more as the group goes on, but uh, maybe you eat well all day and you binge every night, even if it's on healthy foods, then that should be your one goal. You know, a lot of times when we think about making goals, we feel like we want to change the whole world all at once. We want to fix this thing, forgetting that we've been sick for years and years and years, decades of our lives, most of us, a lot of times it even goes back to childhood. I know that's the case for me. And we want it to be fixed in a month. And what we really want to happen is we want your transformation to happen in your mind this month and your behaviors to begin to change this month. And then over time, your body changes. Everything else changes. So the goals really this month should be about your behaviors around food. Now, if you have been sober for a year and you are working hard towards making progress and losing fat um, and you want to do something more strict, that is okay too. But it's really important if you're in this group, wherever you are in the process, someone else's goal should not affect you. So someone may have a goal to do something that's very, very strict. Don't get sucked into the need to do what someone else is doing. You can get inspired by someone else, but 
if you're not in a place where you are absolutely firm in the fact that you are eating well or that you are not emotionally overeating or doing some other disordered behavior, that has to be addressed before you can move on to fasting or before you can move on to, you know, um, cycling through high protein and high fat days and things like that. Those tools are available to you. Um, as a nutritionist, I am available to you to help you work through those things here in the group, not individually, but here in the group. Um, but you can't skip the simple behaviors first. You can't go straight from where you are if you're struggling with eating behaviors to doing these strict things because it won't last. You maybe can white knuckle 30 days through and make it through a challenge of some kind, but you, the first time you um, face adversity, if you're, if you are someone who's a stress eater, the first time you face stress, you will go back to your stress eating. You'll go back to eating off plan. You'll go back to that, and you will relapse and you will regain any weight or the progress that you make through white knuckling your way through a month. It won't mean anything. And we we want to stop that. We really want, I want for you to have sustained changes in your relationship with food. So think about what your goal is. Um, some of you have started your introduction posts. If you haven't introduced yourself to the group, I highly, highly encourage you to do that. Um, be vulnerable here. I know that it's easy to say, sometimes hard to do, but the more you open up, the more support and love and uh, encouragement you can get and I want that for you that creates an environment that's safe it creates an environment where you're able to change and grow um, and then after your introduction group really think about um, what is the biggest thing that's that would be life-changing if you worked on it for the next 30 days and again it might be very very simple it can literally just be a matter of you know what, I'm going to stop eating these foods and start eating these foods. And that is my commitment. That is my one goal. So if you, if you are struggling with, you know, what to do for a goal, look around, read what other people are writing about their goals. I got to tell you, even being, you know, over six years into this, I always have goals for myself every single month. If you don't have a goal, you will either stagnate and get frustrated or you will move in the wrong direction you will move backwards the truth is we're always either moving forward or backwards and a goal is something that draws your attention to moving forward otherwise you're going to slide back either very quickly in a relapse or a slow fade backwards um, so just wanted to encourage you in that um, I'll be back tomorrow with another video tomorrow's video I'll be talking about what um, your issue might be. I really want to break down what compulsive eating is, what emotional eating is, so you can put your finger on what your exact issue is. You might think it's one thing and realize you're struggling with more things. You can have more than one issue at once. Um, it is absolutely possible to have that been there. Um, but anyway, just want to thank you again for being here. Looking forward to a great and miraculous month. If you will allow yourself to really be part of this and surrender to this process, you will change in ways that you don't expect. It will be better than you expect. And I know there are people here in this group that can attest to that. So just give yourself to it. Commit to it. Show up here every day and it will be worth it. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.